Well, today we're just kind of talking a little bit about antioxidants. Two of my favorites are NAC and glutathione. Are you familiar with those two? I'm sure I have to look at your med list again, but you're probably on. Yeah. Not both. I, I <laughs> I've, I've been taking both of them. Excellent. And a lot of times we do have patients take both. So glutathione is basically, it's a peptide and it consists of three key amino acids. And really what it is, is kind of, I call it like the Superman of all antioxidants. It's a master antioxidant and it helps to lower that oxidative stress or free radicals. And I think of free radicals, basically unstable atoms that can damage cells and cause disease. There's like a video game I think of where you can kind of push the buttons on the side. It's old, but the ball will ping, ping, ping. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I think of when I think of free radicals. It's all of these unstable atoms and every single time it hits, it's creating more and more damage. And if you have enough of them, they'll eventually get through and lead to disease. Glutathione really helps to fight infection. It helps the liver to clear unwanted toxins. And actually some researchers, some longevity researchers actually believe it's a predictor of how long we will live. It is one of those antioxidants that it's so important because it's really in every single cell of our body. And so it's not considered essential, like an essential nutrient technically, because the body can create it from the amino acids. However, the problem with glutathione is every time we encounter an environmental toxin or stress or illness, we're using up that glutathione reserve. And by the age of 65, we actually produce about 50% less glutathione. And those are actually in healthy individuals. So we are constantly using up this glutathione reserve every time you have a flare every time, you know, you're in a stressful situation at work, every time you're exposed to an environmental toxin. So it's aging, infection, poor nutrition. There could be some genetic variants and defects that can contribute. High blood sugar is one, you know, so there's so many things that are eating up at this reserve and we need to make sure that it is fully stocked, locked and loaded so that when we do encounter these, we're able to make sure that these free radicals, you know, don't cause harm. So my favorite is obviously IV. I love the IV form, but if you're going to do an oral form, I really like liposomal because it's encapsulated into this lipid. So basically it works very well in terms of absorption. That's a favorite of mine. There's also topical sublingual. Those are also nice nice ways to take that. So, and other things to think about is boosting other antioxidants like selenium, alpha lipoic acid, NAC, which we're going to talk about next. So definitely some other nutrients that you can boost glutathione. The functions of glutathione, as I mentioned, it's just really critical for a strong immune system. It protects from those environmental toxins and can even discourage cancer progression, basically what we call like programmed cell death. I love the that you're on it, I would continue that. Some of the foods and supplements that we can consume that also kind of boost those glutathione levels are things like cruciferous vegetables, anything with vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium rich foods like Brazil nuts and sardines are excellent. Even whey protein, if you don't have, you know, any adverse reaction to that, milk thistle is great. And then of course, all of your B vitamins are essential as well. So love glutathione. On. That's one of my favorites. That's why I call it the Superman of all antioxidants. And then we have NAC. So N-acetylcysteine or NAC, basically a supplement form of cysteine, which is a semi-essential amino acid. You can find this in foods such as eggs and chicken, turkey. And so again, we talked about those amino acids as really the building blocks of protein. So they're essential for building muscle and helping to support the immune system. But NAC is a precursor to glutathione. It's a powerful antioxidant and can really help to prevent that free radical damage on that cellular level. It helps to neutralize those free radicals, which we want. The other benefit of NAC is it can help improve lung function. And so it helps to decrease inflammation in the lungs and it can even loosen mucus in the airways. I don't know if you've heard, you know, throughout COVID, there were some protocols out there and NAC was on the top of the list. But even things like 
COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that's a key player. It really helps to replenish the glutathione level in the lungs. Again, strengthening the immune system, it can help block viral replication. So taking it even when you have the flu, it can potentially shorten the lifespan and hopefully the symptoms as well. It detoxifies the liver and the kidneys. It helps to kind of blunt any type of effect from those environmental toxins, as I mentioned, that deplete the glutathione. There was a recent article I just read about immunizations, you know, some of the heavy metals like mercury, that this can actually help to inhibit those effects from some of those heavy metals. And not just in, you know, vaccinations, but in other forms as well. NAC is also interesting because it's been studied in some mental health disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder, depression, and substance abuse. So there's so many benefits to these two antioxidants. A lot of times taking them together is even more beneficial. So NAC, I do in capsule form. Usually about 600 milligrams twice daily is kind of a nice dose. And then, like I mentioned, the glutathione, I really prefer, I guess IV would be optimal, but you know, of course we can't all be running around getting IVs every week. And so liposomal is a great choice for the glutathione. Two of my favorites, and I'm glad you're on both of them. <laughs> do you have any questions for me about either one of those? Oh, not that good. Good. Yeah. Those are two of the most powerful ones. So we're working on other areas of lifestyle, minimizing the environmental toxins, making sure we're getting, you know, those amino acids and nutrients in our diet, minimizing any other stressors. So we're working on other layers, but this just helps to boost our reserves so that when we do encounter those, we can find our way through. Well, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah, we're great. That's All right, you too. Bye. 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 